the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. It's a blessing and a privilege to welcome everyone from Tawakasha here this afternoon. For those who have traveled from across the ocean, for those who have traveled from other parts, thanks so much for being here. A special welcome to those who are following on the, the live feed of the, the ceremony back in the United Kingdom. Praise God for the gift of this moment, and it's love that, that brings us together at this moment. As we enter into the ceremony, let us pray. Almighty God, hear our prayers for Lori and Elliot, who have come here today to be united in the sacrament of marriage. Increase their faith in you and in each other, and through them, bless your church. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. At this time, I invite everyone to be seated as we listen to our first reading from the Scriptures. Oh, 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, striving, striving to give you great spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing symbol. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but I do not have love, if I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own self interests, it is not quick tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. Endures all things. Love my perfectness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the proclamation of the gospel. be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Just to offer a, a brief homily before the, the moment that we're all waiting for, the moment of, of the vows. It's a privilege to welcome everyone here to, to St. Joseph Parish in Waukesha. St. Joseph is known as the, the mother church of the Catholic churches in Waukesha as it began in 1845. So there's uh, a lot of, a lot of, lot of moments of, of beauty that have taken place in this very church. One of those was 37 years ago, almost when John and Michelle Elliott's uh, parents were married here in, in a little bit in early October, one of the memories that St. That Joseph uh, holds. And it's a blessing that we make uh, another memory here at this time. As I mentioned, a special welcome to those that are following from the, the UK. A special welcome to those who made the, the trip across the ocean. And a special welcome, especially, Lord, to your, to your grandmas that, uh, that made it here. Praise God for the gift of, of, of your presence here. In the book of Song of Songs, the book of Song of Songs, it's of all the books in the Bible, it's kind of the love poetry. It's, it's the, the love of a, a husband and wife and the lover and the beloved. And they're, they're seeking each other. And we have some very unique words that are used that we don't always hear within the scriptures. And we hear the, 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 the lover say, Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the, uh, leaping across the hill. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. You know, that's the way, the biblical way of saying, my lover is cute, you know, a young stag or a gazelle. Very interesting types of terms. But you can see that they're searching for one another. The beloved sees her lover coming at the distance, and there's an excitement. There's an joy that's there. One of the things, of course, probably everyone here knows, you know, Ellie and Laura both have a, a great love of, of, of animals and, and pets, and, and dogs kind of help bring them together. And there's something about a dog that's different than a cat. You know, when, a, when, 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 a, you know, when someone's coming home that a dog knows, the dog is kind of right at the window, like literally leaping to get at them when they come home. A cat will do just the opposite. 
a cat will run away and hide many times, you know, does not want to be seen, whereas a dog is, is kind of that sense of they're kind of looking and just, okay, you know, one's mom or dad coming home and kind of ready to leap, ready, ready to be there, ready to be there. And that maybe illustrates within the scriptures and maybe that example, that, that sense of love, that there's something that leaps within us, that something that comes alive within us that perhaps we didn't know was there until we met the one that we loved. Love brings us alive. Love brings something to life in us that perhaps lay dormant. When we meet the person that we love, when we meet the person that we're destined to be with, something comes alive. Something comes alive. Something leaps within us. And so in some sense, as we come to this moment, we celebrate that leap of love, that surge of joy. As you come to here to, to before the Lord, before your friends, your family, to give your yes to each other. The book of Corinthians illustrates just how, lo- how difficult love is, how difficult love is. And it kind of rolls off the tongue. We know the scripture love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. That's really difficult, to hope all things, endure all things. That's difficult. Love is beautiful, but it's the most difficult thing. It brings something to life in us, but then it also challenges us in ways that we could never imagine. I know as a, as a teacher, Elliot, many times I'm sure looking out at the, the high school students, you want to, you know, they're not getting it and you just want to scream and say like, just understand, just, and, and many times when we get, uh, when we get frustrated, what do we usually think that, that like our point is going to get through by, by talking louder? But a good teacher, a good teacher, what does a good teacher do that, you know, talking louder or yelling isn't going to get the point across? It's understanding. It's understanding. Seeking to understand the other person. Seeking to understand each other. And so love brings something to life within us, but then it also challenges us. The great thing about Laura and and your personality is that you're pretty straightforward of what's going on in your heart. You don't uh, kind of uh, hide it. There's a a great sense of, of what's on your mind. And that's a beautiful thing, to keep that always alive. Love brings something to life in us, and then it challenges us. It challenges us to understand each other in a deeper way. And then in this, in the gospel that we hear, the two shall become one flesh or one body. God's mission for marriage, God's mission of marriage, is to bring God, who's three in one, down to earth. In the sacrament of marriage, they give us an image of God's love. God's love that works within us. God's life that breathes life within us, that brings us together. May the blessing of Almighty God always be over your marriage. May God's love challenge you and bless you and fill you to be faithful to these vows that you make. This is the moment that we came here to be a part of. We came, we came uh, to witness. And so, Laura and Elliot, we invite you, to come, invite you to come right up into the sanctuary, invite the bridal party to take your places as we receive the vows. Lord and Elliot, you have come here together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Jesus Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament, so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions by answering these three questions. So I ask Elliot and Laura, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. yes. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and the church? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, we invite you to join hands and to declare your consent. I, Elliot, take you, Laura, to be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. 
in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Laura, take you, Elliot. I, Laura, take you, Elliot. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Laura and Elliot, you have declared your vows before Christ and the Church. What God has joined together must not be separated. Now we turn to the, the best man as we bless the rings. May the Lord bless these rings, which you give to each other today, as a sign of your love, as a sign of your fidelity, as a sign of the blessing of the sacrament of marriage. May God bless these rings, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Receive this ring. Laura, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Elliot, receive this ring. Elliot, receive this ring. As a sign of as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us take a moment and affirm the vows that which we have just witnessed. Elliot and Laura, you may kiss. <laughs> It's time for the prayers of petition. I invite everyone to stand and for the bridal party to return to your places. The response after each of the prayers is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Elliot and Laura, and for their well-being as a family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their relatives and friends, and all who have assisted this couple, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those preparing to enter into marriage, and for all whom the Lord is calling to another state of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families throughout the world, and for lasting peace among all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our families who have passed from this world, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those joining us on the live stream, for all those unable to be here, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, the holy people of God, and for unity among all Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, in your mercy, hear these our prayers. Pour out the fullness of your grace upon Laura and Elliot on this day that they enter into a family. Bless them, bless them all the days of their life. Hear our prayers and the prayers of our hearts and grant them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Joining our prayers together as one, we pray the Lord's Prayer, the perfect prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for this bride and this groom that the Lord has now united in the sacrament of marriage. Take a moment of silent prayer before I pray the nuptial blessing.
Holy Father, creator of the world, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life. We humbly pray to you for Laura, who today is united for her husband, Elliot, in the sacrament of marriage. May your fullest blessing come upon them so that they may together rejoice in the gift of your married love and enrich your church with children. Lord, may they both praise you when they are happy and turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in every need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witnesses in the world. And may they reach old age in the company of their friends and family and come at last to the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite you to offer to those with those around you some sign of Christ's peace. Prepare now for the final blessing to send Elliot and Laura out as husband and wife. Invite the bridal party to come back up one more time for the final blessing. The final blessing is a, a three-part blessing, and after each of the invocations, we invite everyone to respond with a heartfelt amen. And amen means, I believe, or so be it. And so we claim these blessings for Elliot and Laura on this day that they have entered into this holy bond of marriage. So let us pray. May Almighty God, with his word of blessing, unite your hearts in the never-ending bond of pure love. For this we pray. Amen. May your children bring you happiness, and may your generous love for them be returned to you many times over. For this we pray. Amen. May the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends to stand by you both in joy and in sorrow. May you be ready and willing to help and comfort all who come to you in any need. And may the blessings promised to the compassionate be yours in abundance. For this we pray. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God rest over all of us that are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now present Elliot and Laura Kosank.